Hello, thank you for joining me again on Friends Car Repair Corner or FCRC. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the intake on the Ford Mondeo. Uh, it's done 192,000 miles. Uh, I don't think my dad's cleaned it because he had this car before me. Uh, so yeah, going to get into that. Um, I have still got the list here, so we'll go through. We'll see if we can scrub anything off the list of the stuff that we wrote down about what we needed to do to the car, what was required, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think there is going to be some stuff that I'm going to add to it. Um, that you know, as I'm going around noticing other things, so you know, we'll, we'll do all of that. This is just going to be you know our project to start with. I haven't got another project car. This is my daily, so I'm just going to try and make as much content as I can out of this Ford Mondeo. I know it's not, you know, going to be the most amazing videos or the most amazing car. No, no, lots of people are going to have them. Uh, and not lots of people are going to be wanting to do all of the stuff, the stuff that I'm doing. But hey, you know, it's my car and I'm showing you the journey. So the list that we have, uh, right, discs and pads. Yeah, they're on order still. Refurbish alloys. Yeah, we can do that. Fixing wing mirror. I have attempted, uh, but we will do that as an actual video. Sort out radio. We've done ra uh, part one of that where I've taken it all out and uh, done some soldering, but we'll go to a part two video on that one and because I think I still need to do a bit more. So yeah, heat shield. So we can now take that one off. Because we've done that. Headlights, service, and then we got DPF delete, remap, lowering springs, and windows tints. So we should have put on there uh, spray grills. Because that's what we did uh, when we did the heat shield. So, uh, so we can say uh, part one done uh right so oh and then maintenance required oh, i'm gonna say yeah uh clean is it inlet or intake i can't remember i think it's the inlet clean inlet oh, i will say slash intake just in case there is anyone in the comments that wants to there we go it's one of those um i was gonna do a video because i didn't think this was gonna take too long um, so I was going to do a video on that and I was then going to go around the car because the car's quite clean. Uh, so yeah, let's get out the car. It's getting quite warm in here. Uh, I was going to then do, after we've done the intake slash inlet, uh, was going to do some tea cutting. Uh, just to go over the car because the car is you know still nice and clean uh, so uh, yeah I thought we could then try and get out I don't know if you can see on the on the video but yeah there is a light scratch that kind of goes through here scratch there I mean there's for the age of the car to be honest it's really not that bad but there are a number of you know like this bit here obviously I'm gonna have to get like a touch-up pen or the paint to actually do that because that's not just scratches but yeah all of this see this I can make that like look, you know, a lot, lot, lot better. Um, all these kind of, yeah, scratches. Um, and then, yeah, with, as I say, like detailing, you can see it's still got like watermarks. So yeah, I could then try and clean that up. But to be fair, I think I really want to do a, a nice time-lapse of like everything. I'll go around the car before and after of it all. Uh, we'll go back around the front. You can see the sprayed up black grills that we did previously. So yeah, looking a lot nicer. Again, oh yeah, we need to add onto the list, don't we? The bumper to yeah, pull the bumper up. But I really do not like that burnt headlight bit. And yeah, when I'm obviously then looking at this, I'm then seeing this, so yeah. Right, let's get cracking with the jobs today. Okay, so I have voted for this one to do, because I'm not actually going to be too far away, no wireless microphone. So I'm hoping the video still sounds good on this. I know as soon as I start walking away from the phone, that's when it's noticeable that it's not that great. I have to be relatively close. Right, let's crack on. Uh, so what I've got to do is remove this, so that pulls off. Okay, and then we have these 10 mils that are uh, one, two, three, four, Is that one there as well? Five. Oh, actually, that looks. I don't know. So it's one, two, three, four. Right, there's a number of ton mills here. We'll just calculate them as we go. Let me get the tools. 
Okay, and here's the position of all 1910 mils. So pause it here if you want to take a screenshot. Here we just have more of a close up of the other parts that had to be taken off. Screw circle to the one that was the one that I couldn't seem to find uh, and I was struggling with. There's also a number of connectors that you need to disconnect as well that are also shown along with the injectors. Okay, I would also like to mention I'm not a mechanic. My day job is actually in IT. I was able to gain my knowledge from my dad who was previously a mechanic. And as I've grown up being interested in cars, he's helped me and shown me how to do various things on cars. Here I decided to give you a close up of what I thought I needed to remove. All these bolts that are around here. At this time, yeah, I didn't realise there was actually more than what I actually had to take off, but yeah, got there in the end. Remember, if you have liked this content, please do like and subscribe. So while I'm doing this, I can tell you about the previous cars that I've owned. Uh, in no particular order, I've had various Ford Fiestas, Ford Focuses, I've had a Vauxhall Astra, a VW Golf, BMW E60, Skoda Octavia, Audi A4, uh, and all of those I've uh, maintained myself with my dad uh, and also modified them in some sort of way. Uh, I always like to try and make my cars, uh, yeah, like a little bit more unique uh, and just to my liking. Most of the time my dad hasn't agreed with my modifications but he has helped me uh, so uh, yeah no big uh, thumbs up to my dad uh, and uh, yeah I thank you to him for uh, yeah teaching me all of this and um, yeah I wouldn't be here doing these videos now if it wasn't for him so yeah thank you dad. We'll also mention here that uh, you can see what I'm sort of touching with now. Uh, there was a um, like Jubilee clip that I believe was yeah around it. Uh, that didn't need to come off. Uh, I was trying to take that off thinking that that needed to come off. But no, I was able to take off that whole unit. So there's no need to actually yeah undo that. Here, I'm actually checking to make sure the valve actually moves up and down and isn't seized. As you can see, it is quite dirty. Uh, I do give that a clean out uh, before I put it back on later. I actually can't wait until my gloves arrive uh, so that I can then yeah do some more of these kind of jobs because it's actually been stuck in my hands for like the last two days uh, so yeah definitely recommend wearing gloves for this job because uh, um, yeah if your car's anything like mine it gets rather dirty that is one EGR cooler pipe removed. Look at the state of that. I'll be giving that a thorough clean later. So uh, yeah, we're finally at the final bolts now. This is where I've realized that, yeah, there is just sort of a bit more on the sides and the top that I still need to remove. Uh, but yeah, once I figured all of that out, it was pretty much plain sailing.
Now I'm gently prising away the rail for the fuel, so the fuel rail. And then the pipe there, you just press down on the yellow tab and then that pulls away. Now I'm just going around making sure that I've not missed any bolts, that it is coming loose. And uh, yeah, with a bit of a wiggle in the end, it uh, yeah does come loose and the camera does end up then falling. Okay, so out in the garden, I put it in the uh, the kids old uh, swimming pool thing that they've grown out of now. What I'm going to do first is just going to put some boiling water. Well, not too boiling, it's, it's boiled, but just to loosen up the, the material, the stuff that's inside. And then I'm going to come back. I ha then have some uh, elbow grease, heavy duty cleaning stuff, a bit like Mr. Muscle, hopefully. Hopefully it's like a foam spray. I don't know, we'll find out what, if it does anything. Obviously it's just, yeah, all the oil is not obviously going to do much because it's oil and water, etc. But at least it's hopefully going to warm it all up and stuff. So I'll give that five minutes and then I will come back and use the oven cleaner. Uh, to be fair, what I might do first is get like a brush try and clear out as much as I can, like the, the, the obvious big clumps like this, you know, you know, that are coming out. I mean, that's just horrible. And I just tried to clean my hands a little bit anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll let that soak, let that warm up and get soft, and then I will give it a brush down. Okay, I've moved it over here just so that I can have somewhere that when it splashes it can just go all over that rather than all over the garden elsewhere so because uh, yeah I've got the jet wash now I've got the head that is basically the one for the car at the moment so that's like a softer um, jet so that's what I'll use first and then I'll get the one that's yeah for you know when you do pavements that's a lot a lot more uh, and that will get rid of hopefully more of the harder stuff but for now I'm gonna get the put you on the mount and I will start cleaning with the toothbrush to see how much I can just yeah, get off with just some soapy water uh... <laughs>
Okay, so given that time to soak a bit more, so as you can see, it's all sort of like, yeah, melted away in there. Hopefully it's not melted away at the plastic. Give it another little jet wash. Um, go from there. I think I'm going to clear out this water at the end of the garden. Okay, now I'm using a rag, just pushing it in and through just to make sure that, you know, I've got all of the big clumps, uh, making sure that it then feels all smooth throughout all of the channels. Okay, so I mean it's not the best job in the world, but it's definitely a lot better. I mean you can still see yeah some of the stuff that's on there. I mean I could have got a screwdriver in and done all of that, but no, I've just cleaned it all up. Basically stuck some more of those rags till it basically came out, you know, basically clean. Uh so yeah, now just letting it dry off because still got a few bits that need to dry. Uh I have then cleaned the top part as well, so yeah, once that's then ready to go in okay so i have put it back in the car now uh and i have actually been driving with it uh since and definitely definitely recommend doing it uh definitely seen a better increase in uh mpg throttle response feels like a like remap the car like definitely like a lot more power uh so um yeah i'm definitely happy with that uh, so yeah, that's the end of that video then. Um, sorry I didn't do the, the actual putting it back in the car. Um, I had it recorded, but it wasn't recording. Or oh, I had it there like it was recording and it, it didn't record. So, um, and to be fair, it probably would have been a bit too long of a video with me putting it back in the car. So um, yeah, obviously I've, I've done the screenshots and all that lot of what bolts are required. So it's basically whatever you did, taking it out just do it in reverse putting it all back in uh, one other thing I would mention is that when you do take it out uh, when you put it back in obviously there's these um, oh, not washers um, but like little holders or seats that they that, that the actual uh, intake goes into uh, and you, I couldn't fully push that down in correctly so what I did was I made sure I got a bolt in each side and then tightened it so from one end to the other to make sure that when it was being pushed down it was going down 
evenly and not like one side being up and then allowing leaks so uh, yeah that's all I'd advise there is just make sure that yeah you go from one side to the other tightening it up making sure that you get a nice flat seal um, and then yeah connecting all those connectors back up um, but yeah as I say definitely recommend it uh, if you have liked the content please like and subscribe um, and um, yeah we'll be going through that list and seeing what else we can do to uh, yeah get this back um, to being a bit more alive shall we say so uh yeah we'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye